excited. I'm excited. I think this Red Bull is also pepping me up. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if this happens to be your first time here, my name is Melissa or Missa. Welcome to the coolest place on the, on the internet, as voted by GQ magazine. I made that up. Sue me. Today, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, I'm going to be playing with a bunch of Makeup Revolution stuff. Some old stuff that I've had in my collection for a while, but mostly new stuff. So I'm going to be playing with these like fun palettes. I bought this blue one and then my gorgeous friend Nina sent me the pink one. And then I got a package yesterday from Makeup Revolution with... Oh, why have I put them in my drawer already? Oh, the super dewy um, liquid blushes. So I had to play with those. So I've mixed them on my face today. I also got sent this, this skin tint, the super bam and other bits and bobs like that. So we're just going to clart it all on my face, see how it works out. This is obviously the outcome, but you'll see how it all performs and stuff as we proceed in this video. So if you want to just fanny around with me on this happy, well for me it's a beautiful, beautiful sunny Thursday. I can't wait to wipe this off and go on a nice long hill walk. Um, but if you want to enjoy this Sunday morning with me, then keep on watching. Well, let us begin. I have treated myself to a full sugar massive can of Red Bull today. I've not been sleeping well the past couple of nights, okay? You can probably tell by looking at me. I am first going to take my Sugar Ray palette, which looks kind of orange on camera, but it's definitely pink. And I first dipped in the shade Cherished and just popped this underneath my brew, which I already have on. And I've already primed my eyes as well, just with concealer. Don't tell Robert Welsh or do. If you hear weird noises throughout filming, it is the cats. And if I disappear very quickly at some point, it's because tickets go on sale for a gig that I really want to go to in August. And I'm dying to get tickets and I might have to sell my entire makeup collection to buy them, but I don't care. I'm actually just going to start off with this palette. I will use both intentionally and I'm going to take the shade Ember which is the black, which is why I wanted this palette because it had a black in it and I felt like overall it lacked depth in other areas. But anyway, this is, I'm just supposed to be putting the makeup on and show you how it performs. I need to not sit and blarb too much. Although it's a Sunday morning, so I always feel like they're more chill. It can be a bit longer. I'm just gonna pop this black on the inner and outer corner hear them they are being such hooligans decent black right I mean I wouldn't write home about it you know I wouldn't write letters about it but it's pr I mean it's pretty decent it's all you really need and then I'll just take a little bit more on a fluffier brush just give it a wee blend on the edges I have tried worse black eyeshadows and from Makeup Revolution, so there we go. I've not played with Makeup Revolution in such a long time, like deliberate, not not deliberately, like um, like a full face Makeup Revolution. Anyway, then I'm going to take a firm, which is this dark purple, and this is going to blend out the edge of the black. Like I don't think this eye looks very good. Like I actually really don't like it, but I know it's not terrible, which is why I'm not wiping it off and starting again because I'm on a bit of a time crunch today. And usually I would just start again if I'm not happy, but this is more just like how the makeup performs. It's not so much about the look, so I'm hoping you'll forgive me. I've just got so many things to do today and I don't want to fanny around too much with my makeup. So I'm going to take my Ultraviolet palette, love the packaging, and the shade island. I do think they're very complementary of each other, like this is a a dark purple that kind of goes like, is it different to that other one? Yeah, see they're totally different. So I do feel like these palettes complement each other really nicely. I'm just going to wipe that on my joggers. And Makeup Revolution, I don't know if it'll still be happening now but it was three for two on their website when I looked. If there are some bits from this video you like, hopefully they're still running the three for two. And I do like buying Wake Up Revolution for their website because you can build up points. 
and I'm all about points you should see on my club card for Tesco. Okay, and then I took, oh, what did I take? I've made a mistake somewhere because I've got an extra brush here. I'm going to take Flossy, which is a Gorgina bright pink. Pop this around. I mean, you can see them performing well on my eye, right? Like, they are good. I just guess when I'm, like, touching them and holding them and playing with them in my head, I'm comparing them to other eyeshadows and I'm like, well, they don't feel that special. Like, they do feel quite dry. But they do perform, so, you know, do what you want. I'm going to then take Haven. Haven or Heaven? Haven. Which is a lilac. For the very edge, oops. I actually feel like it uh, blends out the pink real nice. And I'm quite enjoying not doing a big smoked out look today, I don't know. I've been doing them so much, I'm just enjoying not doing it. I'm going to go back through all of those shades, re-intensify, re-blend, and then we'll come back and put some shimmer shimmer on. Plus I'm watching um, Bailey Sarian, so I'd rather watch her then talk through the blending. Okay, this is exactly much to the side new, no, but I don't care. We are going to take the shade Bellet. Is that supposed to be velvet? Velvet. I don't know, it probably means something and you're shouting at your screen. And it's very creamy and it's very wet. And it definitely goes on better with your finger. I do end up going over this with some of the glitter, but I wanted to try this first and see if I was just like happy with just having the gold on the lid. But of course I have to use the glitter in the palette. But yeah, use your finger. I do have a brush just to plop it around a little. It's because I've got mahoosive big sausage fingers. But like, I mean, that's a stunning colour, right? Right? I even see I take my finger under here. It's nice, it's nice. You can see it in the pan, probably. Like how it's all squished around because it is like wet feeling, so this is blue. Not all the shimmers in here are. And then I took this shade, Brush. It's my which is a glitter and it does turn it all a bit more pink but what ifs? I do prefer actually the golden tone that I had but I did it on the other eye so I've got to do it over here and down here being careful not to stick my fat finger into my eyeball with glitter on it and then I'm going to take just a variety of those like purples and pinks that we used just to blend in the edges just by patting. I mean I am quite impressed by these palettes to be quite honest. Right? Of course I had to use the blue on the inner corner. I'm not sure it's like the most best idea but the most best whatever. But I just wanted to play with it. And I wasn't in the mood for like putting it all over my lid because I feel like I did that recently with a different palette. So I decided to just put it on the inner corner, just using it wet, uh, dry, not wet, dry. And I kind of like it. I kind of like having that dark, weird inner corner, you know. Uh, is that all I did? No, I took because it is Makeup Revolution and Sister Brands. I took my Makeup Obsession eyeliner in Shady, which is black. And I actually really like these eyeliners. I've got quite a few Makeup Obsession eyeliners. Like I've got white, I've got all those colorful ones. They're, they're decent. They are decent eyeliners. And I mean, they're a little bit dry, but as you can see, it goes on pretty darn black. Just put a wee bit up here just as a kind of pretend eyeliner. I don't want to do this anymore. Don't let us fall apart. No, 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 no. 
time to watch it burn. Do, do, do. I'm just gonna clean up, fall out, and I can go around the edges of my eyes and make sure they're all blended and lovely when I got my base on. I need to go wet my sponge, so I'll put on my moisturiser in the meantime. This is my watermelon one. Das ist mein Wassermelon. One of my favourite old memes. Oh, I put on too much. This smells so nice. Mm -mm -mm. I've raved about this moisturiser a million times. It's like gel. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna let it sink in. I'll wet my sponge. We'll be back. Pretty weird if it just went away now and never came back. We have a few primers. We have Hyd uh, Super Dewy Perfecting Putty Primer. Hydrating. Priming Balm with Hyaluronic Applicator Hyaluronic With Hyaluronic Applicator included Huh? We also have one of my favourites which is the Super Dewy Skin Elixir Which I really like Or we have, I, mean, I don't think this is a primer Super Dewy Blurring Balm I don't know I'm gonna open it up Have a wee look I know what one I'm tempted to use, but maybe I should use one that I haven't used before since I've got them. Love the packaging. How cute is that? Just looks like this. Kind of feels like the perfect the putty primers. Doesn't smell of anything, although my fingers just smell of my brush soap. Uh, let's have a look at the putty one. Oh, I love the packaging. The raindrops, the water droplets are like 3D. Ah, applicator. There we go. And this is just their perfecting putty primer. Let's use this one, will we? I have really liked putty primers in the past. I just haven't been using them recently. I've been using a lot of like very glowy products. But I mean, technically, this should be right, super dewy. We'll see. I'm just gonna put this all over my whole neep. Look at this awkward hand. It's like, do I do anything? Do I just stay here? Uh, it's all pilling. It's all pilling up. It's all pilling up. Not a good sign. <laughs> my other putty primers do not do that. Oh, it's gross. Disgusting. Maybe it doesn't like the moisturiser underneath it. I don't know, we're going to forge onwards though. Because it's only an hour and a half. Until pre-sale of tickets and I want to get some tickets for a return to dance in August. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know why it's pilling up. Don't know. Oh, I've also got this. Super Dewy Super Bam Multi-Purpose Bam and it says can be used on face, body, lips to nourish the skin. Why am I having so much trouble reading today? It's because I'm tired. I thought I could put this on as a lip balm. Is this supposed to be like the Elizabeth Arden like miracle balm or whatever it's called? I don't know. I've never had that because it's super bouge. Oh, she thick. It smells nice. Let's use it on my wee monkey lips. Oh. oh, I'm so excited. Okay, right. First of all, we have Super Dewy Skin Tint. Tinted Moisturiser. This is in the shade Fair. You get 55 mils. It's mahusif. Uh, I think I kept this. I had Fair and Light. I think I kept this one because this one looked more kind of yellow, which I definitely am like yellow leaning in my complexion. I say I definitely am, I'm still not sure. Who actually knows what skin tone they are. I think this is just gonna be low coverage, very sheer, but I'm hoping super dewy. I don't mind low coverage and super sheer for like certain days. As long as I get a little bit of coverage, but to be honest, I'll just go in with concealer. This is super yellow. Can you see that? That's like looking 
a very weird colour. <laughs> Doesn't really matter what foundation shade it is. We'll just try. I wonder if this would be better with like fingers. I'm going to try my fingers. Like with a bit more product. Don't they say like these kind of things go on? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. This is not liking the primer. Nah, I'm gonna wipe this off. We're gonna just start again with the, the base. Because there's no point like trying to continue with that. Let's use the Super Dewy Skin Elixir and I know I like this. I've raved about it somewhat in the past. It's very thick and oh it is really nice. It doesn't feel like a makeup revolution product to be honest like feels too nice for them it does cost 10 pounds so <laughs> guess I'm not <laughs> I haven't been reaching for it a lot recently just because when I've been going out I have to wear a mask and I'm like mmm it just creates such a glossy dewy base that I feel like nothing it would just like rub off immediately under a mask but I'm hoping that you know as things calm down as summer rolls in hopefully I can wear this more without panicking about mask wearing we'll try again with this on my sponge makeup revolution they're just so hit and miss these days in my opinion with their products their launches just everything listen to this in my microphone I legit hate editing when I can hear my sponge. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing for free, this is going on much nicer over this primer. I am looking like Bart Simpson because it's so yellow, so it's even too yellow for me. Is it oxidizing? Why am I so yellow? Why is this so yellow? For a shade f called Fair. It should not be this yellow. I know they should make yellow and olive undertone foundations, but not in the shade Fair, right? Here I am. I need to shower after this, so I'll just take it all on the shoulders as well, just so that I can actually take a picture of this. You know what? I like the coverage on my body. <laughs> this could be like a nice body uh, foundation. So it's literally done pretty much nothing for my my skin, but I actually, I don't mind how it looks. I just need to get the shade light. But I mean, you can probably see, like, it's not really done anything, but I do feel like my skin is pretty good and it doesn't need, like, super heavy coverage anyway. I don't have... A makeup revolution cream bronzer. Do they have a cream bronzer? I'd be very surprised if they did. So I'll use my cream contour kit from them and just kind of cream bronze with it, not really cream contour. And you can do this, you know, you can use products for whatever you want. You don't have to use it for what it says they are. I'm going to use my Revolution Pro Ultimate Radiant Under Eye Concealer. I like it a lot, it's nice. Not the best concealer I've ever used in my life, but it is nice. And I need to use quite a bit to lighten up my base and also give me coverage. Very calm, faux freckles on. I've definitely gotten the hang of them a lot better. Although, I have one actual freckle that I like to give a wee bit more colour to. Uh. Uh. I feel like this whole video is in honour 
of these blushes. So they released the Super Dewy Liquid Blush Blusher. I have the shades You Had Me at First Blush and the shades Fake the Flush. And I'm going to swatch them both for you so you can see how pretty they are. This is whatever the pink one's called. <laughs> and this is the peach one. And I just feel like all these companies are starting to come out with cream products and it's making me very happy. So how stunning are they? I think it could be a shout to mix them because the bright pink is like very pink and the peach is sick but it won't go perfectly with my eye look so I might just like mix up a little concoction on the back of my hand just like a blob of this, a blob of that. You can do that with liquid products. Like I said, they're three for two right now, so you can get a bit of cash off. Hopefully it's still three for two when this video goes up. I'll just mix them with, oh, that color. Oh my goodness. But how are they gonna perform on the skin? I said when I swatched them, like I swatched them like in my sausage telegram group they do feel very wet I was thinking would they disrupt a base just from the, the touch of them so we're gonna see right now I mean they're pigmented pigmented holy macaroni well okay yeah mixing them is so nice it's actually a nicer color than my Mitchell mango daiquiri and posy rosy mixed together it just is nicer it's a more fun color we might as well go like quite blush heavy as well just because i've been so excited to play with this that's quite a lot of blush i put on i will say it's not disrupted my base in the slightest my base is still looking good i've got like my magnifying mirror here Sorry if you can hear him, but honestly, I'd rather he was in my eyesight, eye, eye line of vision, than out there making weird noises. Yeah, I mean, that blends so nicely. I really did make up far too much in the back of my hand, so I will add a bit more. Yeah, honestly, go get these blushes. They're a fiver, so some of the cheapest out there. I know Barry M now has liquid blushes, and anyways, kind of always had them. But these are lovely and I have to say like I think the packaging is beautiful on them like really nicely packaged I'm probably not gonna set my base just so that we can keep the dewiness going so let's put some highlighter on I am so pleased with those I have to say like so pleased pleased do I have a Makeup Revolution highlighter? I actually don't think so. Well, I do. I've got my Soph palette, so we might as well use this. We'll use this shade here. I've actually hit pan on it. Don't know if you can tell. This palette is wonderful. Highly recommend. I'm just kind of patting though. I don't want to disrupt my base. Why are you guys so excitable this morning? Oh! Over a wet base, this highlighter is like <coughs> in your face. Oh! Oh! I've got this blurring balm and it did say on the box. What did it say? Blurring balm can be used as a mattifying base before makeup or as a touch up on top of makeup to blur pores and reduce shine. So I thought I could maybe put this just on the T-zone a little bit just to try it out. Um, I guess I'll just use like the end of my sponge that I didn't put like other makeup on with. Because my T-zone's where I get pores. It's where I get shine. Nope, that is ruining everything. Abort. Abort. Not quite going to plan today, is it? 
I don't like my base, I have to say. I do, it's not that I don't like it, I just don't like it for today, like for how I feel. Boys, like I don't feel like there's anything really wrong with it. I don't know, I'm just not loving it. But I would go out with my base looking like this. I don't know what's throwing me off. Maybe it's the pink blush because I literally never wear pink blush. I always wear peach. Oh, where I've put that highlighter is not looking fresh at all. Like, it just looks so cakey and weird where the highlighter is. Right, let's put a lip on and we will put on. I'm going to use my Revolution lip liner in the shade Prime all over. Someone tell me why I'm so bad at applying lip products in a neat fashion. Like, I just can't do it. And I'm going to go over the top with Raw, which is so pale. It's so pale. It's like perfection pale. I really like it. And I didn't really want to do like a mauve lip today. I really like this liquid lipstick colour. I don't like the formula, like it's not good. It's not terrible but I mean my lips aren't really in great condition though to begin with. Don't be knocking things about. Yeah, I like the colour. It's really pale and that's over a super dark lip liner. Guys, my friends, must we make all this commotion? Okay, so that's the makeup done. I am gonna piss off. Maybe put some earrings in. Don't bite that. And then give you my thoughts. Which at this moment I'm very unsure of, which is why I'm dithering. Oh man, I've been gone for ages. Like you wouldn't even believe how long I've been gone for. I managed to get tickets for Return to Dance in Clapham Common in London on 29th of August. So I'm hoping, oh I'm hoping. <laughs> that it doesn't get cancelled because I'm so excited. <laughs> I feel like I finally have something to look forward to. I think I'll go in with Revolution Candy lip gloss just on top because like you probably can't see it right now but I'll show you in natural light. Like this makeup is so glowy and like dewy and I feel like a glossy lip might be quite nice as well and kind of hide how disgusting my lips are. I'm also going to this gig with she is a sausage, but she's a friend. We've got to know each other real well over the past few months and we're so into the same music. So, we're gonna go together. Daniela! Ooh, I like that gloss, it's very tingly. Okay, this is the finished look. I just threw hair band in because I couldn't work out what to do with my hair. So I'll really quickly go through the products because I just feel like I'm like <laughs> right now and I just can't like focus. So first of all these palettes, I do think they're good, like look at my eyes, there's pigment there, they're they're blending pretty well. I think that blue in the inner corner looks quite cool, the glitter's really pretty. They're £8 each which I'm not going to moan at because I do feel like Makeup Revolution have been raising their prices horribly recently and I feel like £8 isn't too bad for these because I, I really like the packaging personally. Like now that I've played with them, and use them. I probably won't reach for them that much unless I'm doing like more full face makeup revolution or full face like affordable makeup so I will hold on to them for that reason but like they're good if you really love the packaging, if you really like the colour stories then definitely go for it. Like I wouldn't say there's really anything wrong with these palettes. They don't blow me away but they're good. They're solid but they're not like you know write a poem about them. Talking of the other things, the super dewy skin elixir I really like this, it's fantastic, highly recommend. Really, really beautiful, that gloss is lovely that I used. And I really like the liquid lipstick, but it's not the most lovely formula, just just saying. This Super Dewy Super Bam, I'm not really sure, I just put it, ugh, I'm getting that butthole lip. I'm not really sure about this, I don't know. I mean, you can put it everywhere, it seems. I wouldn't really wanna smear that all over my face, but, We'll see, um, I'll keep using it. This, 
I actually do quite like now that all my makeup's done. Like, I would definitely see myself wearing this on the days where I just barely want any makeup. Like, if I'm just, like, nipping to Tesco or Asda or the post office and I don't want to put my NARS on and, like, look like I put makeup on, I could definitely smear this all over and be quite happy. But the shade Fair is so yellow. Like, it's obnoxiously yellow. It's just a weird colour. I need the shade Light, I think. Oh, this, um, Patty Primer... Not sure, prefer the packaging to how the product performs. It pilled up, which was really, really weird. None of the putty primers ever pilled up on me before, so I'm not sure. And the blurring balm, I really like the packaging. I think it like looks so pretty and I'll need to keep trying it. Like I will keep trying this as well. I'll keep trying them both, but like this stuff, I'm not sure. I feel like it kind of ruined my makeup a little bit. What's that fallout? The star of the show though was definitely these super dewy liquid blushes. I can't wait to just use this peach on its own, use this pink on its own when I'm doing like a more pink look. The other shades, I did get sent them all, the other shades were all like way too dark for me and way too like neutral and kind of like warm terracotta colours so they didn't really stand out to me at all but these two colours are stunning and I'm so excited to like put them in my drawer. Oh, right beside my blushes. Oh, this is satisfying. And yeah, that's about it. I mean, oh I forgot to put earrings in. How could I? Yeah, overall, I mean, I'm pretty happy. Some hits, some definite misses, but things that, again, because it's a first impression, I'm gonna have to keep trying things. Try with my favorite foundation, try them with my favorite moisturizer, try them, you know, with favorites and see how to make them work that way. But anyway, that's gonna be all for me today. I need to go and just celebrate the fact that I have something to look forward to and I will piss off. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I upload three videos a week. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think of the products. Tell me how I'm using these wrong because I feel like I must be if they look that bad. And yeah, I'll piss off. Have a lovely day, whatever it is you're doing, and I hope I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!